And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. Welcome back to Channel 5 News this morning. It is 6.43 on this Tuesday. It looks like it's going to be another hot one here in the valley. Taking a look at the first Warm 5 Almanac for today, we're calling for a high temperature of 98 degrees, only slightly above the average of 97 for this time of year. I uh, just still feel like triple-digit heat because you have to take in consideration all that humid air that's out there. It will feel like triple digits valley-wide. Now, looking at your sunrise time, 6.57, so we're taking a live look right now, courtesy of Sky 5 at the horizon out there. Beautiful start to the day. We are seeing a few clouds, but it helps, I think, with the sunrise reflecting all those colors in the pinks and the purples. Beautiful start to the day indeed. Temperatures right around 77, so not too bad out there. And it looks like we are mainly dry across the valley. Now, with that being said, there could still be a few showers or thunderstorms in the mix today, so we're going to get into a future track model to show you when that could pop up. This particular model has been indicating a few stray showers closer to the coast to start the day, maybe over the next hour. So you could get a few sprinkles, but I don't think it's going to be as widespread as what this particular model is showing. This afternoon, however, we could get some activity along the Seabreeze front, mainly for the mid to lower valley. That's where the best rain chances are. And keep in mind, with any passing shower or thunderstorm, there could be some heavy rain at times. It's not saying that the upper valley couldn't see a shower or two. It is quite possible. It's just not as favorable as areas to the east of Wesleco. So look at overnight. Pretty partly cloudy out there, really not too bad. And then tomorrow, another round of showers. But look at how isolated it is, mainly over the lower valley and close to the coast. But that's about it. Doesn't look like it really travels farther inland by any means. So we're going to drop your rain chances from 30% of the valley getting that rain chance today down to 20%, back up to 30% for Thursday. So it's one of those things where you could get the rain, you could end up relatively dry. Now, because of the cloud cover and the rain, temperatures will stay right around the average for this time of year, 98 today and tomorrow to 97 by Thursday. Really no big temperature change, and we'll continue to track a few isolated showers into the weekend. I'll show you that in a minute. Right now we're tracking the tropics, and here's the latest on Emily. Now a tropical depression situated just offshore of Florida on the east side. So going into the Atlantic, this particular system uh, could downgrade just to an area of low pressure over the next 24 hours. It's what it's expecting it to do, but because it stays just parallel of the coast, it will make the swells there along the eastern seaboard a little bit rough over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, in the Pacific, here is what's left of Tropical Storm Irwin. It'll continue to uh, fall apart over the next day or so with no impact to land expected. Back here at home, if you're doing any boating, an east wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour today will um, build the bay up to a light chop. This morning it's not too shabby. Seas will average one to two feet. Just keep in mind, spotty storms could be packing some heavy rain, uh, so that could change these conditions at any given point in time. Temperatures outside right now in the upper 70s and low 80s. By this afternoon, the heat will be widespread. Triple digit heat for the upper valley between 101 and 102 in Edinburgh, McAllen and Rio Grande City. 98 when you get into Wessico, Raymondville and Harlingen to 95 for you in Brownsville. 89 today on the coast. Here's your first one five seven day forecast. 77 will be your overnight low back to 98 tomorrow with a few showers possible. Same thing goes for Thursday, 97 there, and it doesn't really change as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Just have if you have plans outdoors, have a place to kind of get out of the rain as it passes by. It could be a little bit heavy by Monday. We're looking at maybe a few more scattered showers or thunderstorms with a high temperature of 96. Your overnight lows will stay in the upper 70s for the next seven nights. And that's your updated first one five forecast. Don't